Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and finally we're back on the Football Manager save after a few days off with some other videos, decided to jump right back into it and as you may notice straight away, not the big news on the left hand side of the screen, on the right hand side of the screen we've got the badge packs installed, the teams have finally got badges, uh, as you can see in there, blah blah blah, Barcelona got their badge, uh, Manchester City got it, but for some reason Manchester United have been neglected in this badge pack, which I'm quite fuming about, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, it's close enough to their badge. So, aye, it's nice to see that every team has now got a licensed badge in the game. For those people who are complaining about it in the comments, be happy. Even the competitions like the Europa League have its badge, its logo in there, which is fantastic. On the other side of things, on the left side of the screen, Rangers, while we're away, had a big, big, big announcement. Steven Gerrard is gone. The failure of this season has been seen. I don't even know if it, he might have not been sacked, but Kike Sanchez Flores, of course, the Spanish manager, former manager of Watford in Espanol, is now in charge at Ibrox, taking the helm from Steven Gerrard. If we have a look, he uh, left the role. He wasn't sacked after winning the League Cup. He is miles behind us in the league and out the Scottish Cup, of course. Uh, like us, we're out the Scottish Cup. If, in case you haven't seen the last episode, it was a, you, you can go back and watch. It's been a roller coaster of a season. We knocked out both cups. We beat Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. We go through the last bit of the Europa League. We're invincible at the current minute. A lot has happened. Steven Gerrard, though, taking the job down south at Southampton. He's went down there, who are sitting 19th in the Premier League right now. He is going to try and save them from relegation and keep them in the Premier League this season. He's gone. Kiki Sanchez Flores is now our opponent, who we will be, in fact, meeting today. In today's bumper episode, my good friend Jordan told me how to pronounce this team name, but I've forgotten now. Sorry, Jordan. Ferenc Kavros? Ferenc I don't know. We're playing them today. Now got their badge, the Hungarian champions in the Europa League last 32. We'll play both legs away and at home. And then in between, sandwiched in the middle, we'll be meeting Sanchez Flores for the first time at a Parkhead Old Fun match uh, in the Derby, where we will hopefully continue our fantastic form. Look at that, 26 games into the Premiership season. Just try and get the whole thing up, sorry. Uh, and we are 21 wins, 5 draws, no losses. Invincible at the current minute. We are battering Rangers, almost 20 points clear of them. We could move even closer to 20 uh, today if we do beat them. While we were away, we only played one game. Though, of course, in the last episode, we got beat off Hearts in the Scottish Cup and drew with Livy away from home. That was close to being the end of the Invincible run. Um, St. Johnson, we beat 1-0 away from home. Lee Griffiths getting the only goal in a very boring performance to say the least i kind of changed the team up a wee bit but brought jake cooper back in but of course we have a very strong team and today we are going to try our best to get through to the last 16 of the europa league you know cup disappointment this season we've not been good motherwell knocked us out in the quarterfinal league cup hearts knocked us out in the last round of the scottish cup so today we need to make up for it and we need to make up for it in the europa league altogether we need to try and actually go through get far perhaps as close to the final as possible. Look, we have the team to do it, but knockout competition hasn't been suited to my Celtic side this season. So, let's hope that things change just a little bit. But we've got some team, of course, the last episode we made the signing of Donny van de Beek from Ajax for £40 million. Pounds. A lot of money. Um, don't know why I shouted pounds there. But as the game saves, I will try and keep us entertained. Uh, it's a big episode, it's a really big episode because Rangers of course, being the second best team in the league, probably have the best chance of ending our unbeaten run in the league. We don't want that to end, we don't want our European journey to end, we can still make up for what has been a mixed season. If this happened in real life in 2019-20, how would you feel? You know, potential last 16 Europa League, but another invincible season, but no cups. But nine in a row, how would that make you feel? Right now, I think that Simons is mixed reviews from the Celtic fans. But here we go, we're going over to Hungary. And we've just got to play our best team, haven't we? We can't shy away from playing our best team. One thing that happened while we were away, in fact, Abdel Ahmed is out for a, a little bit, 11 days, not too much. I think it was originally a three-week injury. Um, so that's him and Frimpong, both injured, which is great. We have a lot of depth at the right-back position. Um, now gone. Uh, just vanished from our eyes. So David Turnbull is actually going to come onto the bench today. We'll make that happen. And, uh, yep, that should, that should do it. That is our best team. Uh, and do you know what? This was the exact tactic which managed to beat Atletico Madrid in the Champions League group stages. So why not use it in the last 42 of the Europa League against a team who are nowhere near the calibre of Atletico? 
Skip to the end of the game. We're probably going to get beat. But here we go. This is the team we're going to play. We're going to take this side over to Hungary. Uh, it's a very strong team. I don't know anything about the opponents, Ferenc Kavros. I'm just going to say Ferenc Kavros. I know it's not right. Uh, David Turnbull's finally going to get his shirt number. We're going to give him number 16. That's the number he's going to wear from now on in a Celtic shirt. Will he get onto the pitch to make his debut today? I don't imagine he will. But... Um, we can certainly think about it. We can certainly, I mean, still recover. Right, this is the team we're going up against. Their team consists of, the, the pronunciation's got to be fantastic. Of Debus, Loven, Loven, Sisis, Blazic, Otigba, Civic, Kroshma, Keita, Preninga, Nguyen, Heister, and Bolly. Not quite Bolly, Bolly, and Golly, though, is he? No, he is not. We've got, they've got Bolly, but we've got Bolly, Bolly, and Golly. Uh, their bench, I don't recognise any names uh, in there either. It's a team that I know nothing about. Meanwhile, on this side of the screen, look, we have one of Europe's top players at the moment in the middle of the park. I would be shocked if this goes tits up. Um, we've got two legs, though, so the, the first, the first, we'll try and just get as positive a result as possible. If we lose, we lose, but we just can't lose by a lot. We're going to go out now onto the park, and here we go. Ferenc Kavros, Celtic, uh, the Hungarian versus the Scottish <coughs> champions, they wear green and white hoops, which um, is always a curse. But hopefully not in this situation. This is massive. We need to go through. We do realise that this this is just the story of every game that I play on camera. 20 minutes in, not a single highlight. We've had two shots the entire game. Both teams will be wanting to go through, though. Both will be fancying themselves. I'm sure Ferry Cabros will be looking at Celtic and going, yum, yum. This is an easier tie than Inter Milan. Um, but we'll see what happens if Inter Milan's even in this. But they're going forward. Bolly hits the bar. And geez, oh, we're slagging him before the game, saying he's not bolly, bolly, golly. And he goes and hits the bar. Ferenc Kavros getting the first decent chance of the game. Uh, yes, we've got a very attacking tactic, of course. But it's not really creating much. One shot, one on target. It's a very embarrassing first half in terms of Celtic. We've been absolutely pummeled. And, I mean, look at that. There's no positives on either side in the team analysis, which is, which is madness. Absolute madness. We've got to be aggressive and say, I'm not happy. Because I'm not. And we'll give it about 10 or so minutes, then we're going to switch to the 4 2 3 1 because I'm having a feeling that Ferran Cavros have got goals in them considering the statistics of the game so far. So maybe I have to change up to the 4 2 3 1 just so we're a bit more set at the back. Uh, like, we're not doing anything. We're, we've had five shots for one target, but we're, we're not doing anything, really. So we're going to make some changes. Uh, Van de Beek and McGregor will rem remain in the middle from now. El is going to come on and James Forrest is also going to come on. We'll bring on two wingers and then we'll save the last sub for David Turnbull later on in the game. We'll have to shout on and encourage the team or something because we have been absolutely useless. And we're going the whole game with one highlight. What a way to start the episode. I, I, I know you've watched this for top-notch excitement. You're not getting it in this game because we've got <laughs> 10 minutes to go and we've all had one highlight the whole game. What is happening here? This is a Europa League goddamn. Ah, oh, look at this. It's about to be full time. We'll bring on Turnbull for a matter of moments. Just so he can see he's made his debut. And just like that, <laughs> with one eye like the whole game, it finishes Ferran Cavros now, Celtic now in the first leg of the Europa League last 32. That was a quick way to start the episode. At least, hopefully, we'll have a lot of excitement in the next two games to try and bring the episode to a reasonable length. Because I'm scared that it was going to be long, but after that, it's not going to be very long at all. Even though we are, you know, off the back of an incredibly boring game. Let's hope there's no form of European hangover heading into the derby here. Pressure building on Fitzsimons as Beton looks to force a move near. Beton has made it very, very, very clear that he wants to leave the club. He wants to leave and move on. Uh, we've had a couple of offers in for him of uh, a couple million quid off of these teams. We may as well accept it. He will be with us until the end of the season. But look, signing Turnbull and the rest of it, he's not going to get much time onwards from this season so we may as well let him move on advance his career uh, somehow because he's not going to get a lot of football at Celtic at the minute but that's the, the back of the mind for now let's just forget about that because what matters is this game now our season we have gone 20 what games unbeaten now 20 20 20 20 20 26 games unbeaten we are out both cups but rangers will be desperate to ensure celtic don't get their second invincible season over the course of four years but will they be able to stop it at parkhead i don't think so we're gonna i mean how many changes do i actually make to that team because we just want to battle them but then again i need to make sure we're resting players and getting through this europa league tie um 
I don't know if there's many changes I actually want to make. I'm going to bring Greg Taylor into the starting lineup where I'm over the left hand side just to give him some football. Because I feel like I've been harsh on Taylor's time this season. And someone who is always really good in this year's FM, I've not used a lot. Because of how good volleyball and golly's been, to be fair. But that is the only change I'm going to make. I am going to play Edouard up front with Griffiths. Yes, of course, Edouard has not been scoring a lot recently, which is annoying. But hopefully, he changes that in this old fun match. I'm going to go and put him back to a pressing forward, though. Um, because I don't think the advance forward has done much for him. And I think he was scoring more in the pressing forward. So... Here we go, it's time for the Glasgow Derby, Celtic versus Rangers, it's Kiki Sanchez Flores' first match in charge of Rangers, how will he arrive to the scene in Govan, I don't know, I'll tell you what, we want to make it as painful as possible, I want to welcome him with a 4-5-0 you know, win, you know how Pedro Cuxinha got welcomed, that's what I want to do, I've been aggressive with the team, I'm going to new warm up them right throughout the whole game, um, wait so, can I win the league after this game? Is that what that's saying? If I win, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a bit early for us to win the league, surely. But here we go. Celtic against Rangers. If we win this game, we are... Well, we're already champions. But I'm just going to go and check my highlights. Make sure... Like, key highlights is what's on. I just want more. Because the last game was... We didn't, we didn't have a highlight in our favour the entire match. And I don't want that to happen for every game this episode. That would be an incredibly boring episode. I want goals. I want Celtic to be firing... Rangers have the first chance of the game. Ryan Kent swings it in. Okay. Sanchez Flores is start as Rangers manager. It's going quite well. Celtic nil. Rangers 1. At Celtic Park. Stephen Davis leaps above. Don't tell me that's higher that he got above there. Look at Van de Beek. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, Donny. We spent £40 million and Stephen Davis is beating you to a header. He's a pensioner, man. Oh, God almighty, this isn't good. Right. No, I don't want to be 1-0 down at half-time at Rangers. That's not ideal at all. Right. Half-time, we've not had a highlight in our favour again. That, that is 100 and what minutes of football. 135 minutes of football without a highlight in our favour. That is absolutely embarrassing. We're going to have to change things up. I'm going all attacking. I want goals, goals, goals. This is a risk. I'm bringing in this 4-4-2. I've used in a couple of this, this, um, episodes before. We're not going to... Well, we will play it at the defence, actually. It's just very kind of, you know, keep going, keep going. Press, 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 press. Short of passing, let's get up. But let's just get up the park and score goals. It means we're going to have to change a couple of things, though. It means uh, James Forrest will come into the side and play on the right. And El Yunusi will come in and play on the left. Apart from that, we're keeping it exactly like this. This is, this is it. This is the team. That is going to score goals in this half, hopefully. And put the sword right into the chest of Rangers. Because we are not losing our invincible season after being knocked out the cup in the last episode. Please don't do that to me, Celtic. It would be embarrassing. Hopefully, this is the start of it. We have a highlight. It's starting from the back. We are due to play out from the back. So that is exactly what I want to see. Plays it over left-hand side. It's Greg Taylor, who I've put a lot of faith in for this game. Greg Taylor sends it way back to Holden with a very dodgy pass. It wasn't the most convincing. Holden gives it to Rangers. McGregor intercepts, so Edward picks it up, Griffiths out wide, it's Jamesy Forrest who's not had a lot of time this season, Edward Ellen McGregor saves it, how has McGregor saved that? Jesus God almighty, Van de Beek sends it in, Rob Holden tries to get up, Edward will have to recover on the edge of the box, and that is the end of the highlight, it's our first chance of the game, but at least it's a chance, at least it's a sign, we have been the better team, Rangers have took the chance that they were given, but we cannot afford to lose this game, I don't want to lose an unbeaten season. Here we go, Maritz Bauer sends a throw in, but Van de Beek does recover, Forrest back out wide to Maritz Bauer, sends it in, Edward can't get to it, Van de Beek, Bauer again, he's onside, Griffiths, he scores against Rangers, he loves a goal against Rangers, the wee man himself, he said, they said he wouldn't be playing football anymore, and what's he doing, there he goes, Lee Griffiths, 14th of the season, back to back, Ladbrokes Premiership goals and games for him. And we are back in the game. We can certainly go and win. He's put it in with his fucking head. Brilliant, Griffiths. On you go, son. That's it. Go and finish the game off now. Go up and get another goal. You know, she's carrying a knock. Van der Beek has a corner. Sends it in. It's Rob Holden. That goes an inch wide. He could have been a Celtic hero there after only signing in January. Things are heating up. El Yunusi's hurt. What are we going to do? We're going to bring on David Turnbull. And we're going to put McGregor out on the left-hand side. That, I feel like, could work. Maybe. Perhaps. Just show some passion, boys. Go for a late win. Oh, no. No, again. Ryan Kane. Over the back of it. 
Penalty. It's a penalty, Rangers. It's a penalty, Rangers. Oh my god, oh mate. Pause the game. Pause the game. I need a minute. I need to breathe. What is happening? Why are we collapsing in the last two episodes? This is un unbelievable. It's embarrassing. Oh, right. Rangers have a penalty. It's got to be James Tavener to step up and take it. Fraser Foster, come on. Come on, big man. Oh, Jesus. Deary me. Deary, 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 deary me. What can I do? I'm on it. I'm like literally going for goals. There's not much else I can, can do at this point. We're moving McGregor, McGregor forward a wee bit. Um, right, come on. We need a goal from this. Turnbull in. McGregor just puts it over the ball. Oh my God. We're going to lose our unbeaten season to the hands of Rangers. Really? Are you kidding? Kiki Sanchez Flores is scanty this year, man. Oh, they've got a corner. Davis sends it in. Oh, it hits a... Oh, Jesus, Johnny, what's happening, Say, Like, what is happening? What is, like... Oh, no, Taylor's having to go off injured. Oh, my God, never <laughs> It's a disaster. Absolute disaster. And 98 minutes into the game, it's finished. It's Rangers 2, Celtic 1. The signs are out, man. Fitz Simons, give him the sack. Get him out. I don't even want to talk to the team. John Kennedy can do it. Oh, we have a lot of making up to do on Wednesday night. Jesus. That is embarrassing. We've lost after 26 games unbeaten at the hands of Rangers at Celtic Park. There we go. 26 matches in a row without losing before this defeat. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I really don't know. The tactics obviously have let me down in bigger games this season because we have had a remarkable bit of form in both Europe and in the league. But in cup competitions, and in, that, in the old firms, we've not been great. And then right there, we lose. Oh, so annoying. So, so annoying. At least if we had an invincible season and went far in the Europa League, I thought that would have been a success. It still is a success, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't know. I'm just imagining the posts from Rangers fans on Twitter about Kiki Sanchez Flores being the one to stop 10 in a row next year. And I can just imagine me giving them abuse back. Anyway, right, well, this has been a disaster of an episode. This is what I love about this save, though, this series. It's went really well in terms of keeping things interesting and exciting and building for next season because we have a very good start to build on because we've not won a cup next season. We can fix that. I've probably should have just stuck with a 4 2 3 1 all season. That never goes wrong. And instead, I try to be ambitious and I try to be different and I try to play a fucking three at the back and. I don't know what I'm greeting at. We're, look at us. We're 12, 12 clear of Rangers. We've won the league. We've only had one league defeat. It's a fact of just no trophies to go alongside it unless we do win the Europa League somehow. I don't know what to do. I'm so stubborn. I don't like changing the FM. If I was a manager, I'd be sacked in months. Wright has been sacked by St. Johnson. Wow, big, big call there. Uh, ultimately, all I can think of doing is just seeing out this season using this tactic because we're that far into it now. We're basically on there's near Britannia. We're leaving to join Young Boys at the end of the season. We're getting about three million pounds for that. Um, next season we'll change it up because why not just finish the season like I don't know. I'm stubborn. Greg Taylor, let's have a look. His injury is going to be up to five weeks with a ligament sprain or tear or something, which isn't ideal, but have to do it was because we benched ball and goalie wasn't it that's what and brown's been out as well I, well forgetting that we've, the captain's not been there maybe it changes now with brown back in the team honestly maybe that's just what we've been missing uh we'll bring him back in um edward has been very off form recently i don't know what's up with him uh i don't even know uh, what to do to sort him out it's it's quite annoying Abdel Ahmed, yes, he's hot, but we need another defender on the bench. We need a full back. So he's got to come in. He's fit anyway. He's just carrying that knock. Um, that is the team. Brown returns. We need something here. We need to go through to the last 16 of the Europa League. This is to save the episode. To save the season, perhaps. Uh, I'm, I'm overreacting, aren't I? It's the exact same teams that are out in the park, apart from Brown returning to the squad from the first leg. Uh, and... I need to just be aggressive and go through them. Maybe, maybe that's my problem. Maybe I'm giving them. Maybe I'm too harsh in the changing room. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But we need to perform at Celtic Park tonight. We need to go through. We can't let the Hungarians knock us out of the Europa League. It would be a right good summary of our season. I wouldn't be surprised if I got sacked. 
I have has the ball anyway. Scott Brown, he's going to be the impact coming back to the team. McGregor gives it to Rob Holden. We're passing the ball about. We can't find an outlet right now, even though Bauer is in acres of space in the right-hand side of the park. Brown gives it to McGregor. McGregor to Holden. Come on, Celtic. Just do something. Ball and golly. This is, oh, that's a lovely wee pass through to Griffiths. Get it in. Edward, he scores. We were fucking moaning at him for not scoring. But Lee Griffiths, who has been very underrated throughout this entire save by myself, has set him up big time. Ball and golly with a lovely header through to Griffiths. And he holds up the play really well there. Sends it in. Edward, bang. On the volley. Sends it into the back of the net. Celtic 1. Ferran Cavros 0. Oh, that is lovely. That is a big sigh of relief at Celtic Park between both me, the coaching staff, the fans, and, you know, everybody who's waiting for me to get sacked watching the videos. So, Celtic won. Ferran Cavros now. Hopefully, we can go and score another couple just to get the thing done and get us through to the last 16 of the Europa League. Something that we couldn't do in real life. I'm one and up us there. Aya <laughs> gives it to Van de Beek. I was Brown that actually gave it over. McGregor out wide. Maritz Bauer. Can we get another goal from the wings? Maritz Bauer moving forward. Edward again! He's missed so many sitters this season. He should be putting that into the back of the net. No ball. It's a cracking save. Don't get me wrong. Julian! Oh, I'm talking too fast to even keep up. Van der Beek's corner meets Julian's napper. Nice to meet you. Van der Beek and Julian hopefully establishing a little connection there. Uh, and scoring a lot more from corners. But Julian puts it in. It's 2-0 Celtic. And I don't want to speak too soon. But that... That's really nice. That's really good. That has me confident that we will be seeing the last 16 of the Europa League. How come we perform well in Europe? How come we've been fantastic in Europe? Domestically, we've been a shambles this year. It's like the opposite of real life. It's like Martin O'Neill's 2003 season, isn't it? I mean, I don't want to say we're as high as that. We need to get to the final first, but... Uh, right, the goalkeeper sends it out. Can't say his name. Julian does win it. McGregor will recover it. Ball and golly has lost the ball very poorly. And now Ferran Cavros moving forward. Heister, good strike, but a very good save from the big man between the sticks. Fraser Foster. And they'll have a corner from it, which Julian will see to without any problem at all. I mean, I'm just trying my best here to keep up with everything that's happening on the screen. It's firing fast. Ferran Cavros now moving forward again with a ball. And ball, he hits it. Foster with a big save. But he gets the rebound. And as I said, I didn't want to speak too soon. It's Celtic 2, Ferran Cavros 1. And uh, I don't want to make this nippy bum time for us, you know. Um, that would be disastrous. Oh, no. Forster makes a fantastic... Julian was the one at fault for not winning the header over Bolly. And we need to come out guns blazing in the second half and get more goals. Because right now, if, obviously, if we finish 2-0, they would go through. Which is not the end to the episode I want. I'm going to say I'm pleased with how things are going, even though it's not great. Um... No changes to make, I believe, in the, after the first half performance. I think the team is performing well enough. The, the problem, it was an individual error which led to their goal. And even at that, Forster was unlucky after saving the first header. It was a rebound. We just need to ensure we don't let it happen again here in the second half. But they have the first highlight. Or do they? Griffiths is in there. It's a ball through from Van de Beek for Edward. Lovely vision from the Dutchman. That's a very good tackle to stop Edward. Very, very good tackle. We have a corner though. Van de Beek in again. Ball and golly meets it. But his header goes into the upper tier of the Lisbon Lion stand. And yes, it is the Lisbon Lion stand. If we say that's actually the Jockstein stand. The camera faces the other way at FM. So it's the Lisbon Lion stand. Look at where the tunnel is. It's up there. Forster has the ball. Gives it to Rob Holden. Oh, don't be too shaky with the ball around the back, boys. Just get it up. Right, Ayer has it. There we go. Bauer. Send it, go, 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 pass, that's it, Van de Beek, the creative man, McGregor, out wide, ball and golly, this is lovely passing from Celtic, we're moving forward well, ball and golly, gets it in, oh, a bit too much, but Bauer gets it before it goes out, can he do something, Edward, he has a post rebound, it's in, just like that, it's 3-1, Edward is his second of the game, it's 28th of the season in all competitive games, and just like that, after I thought ball and golly's cross was leaving the park, Bauer manages to make something out of nothing, First shot hits the post, second shot, back of the net. I mean, we've been dominant, we deserve to go through, look at the stats. Look at the stats. If we didn't go through, I would be crying, you know, to the police for daylight robbery. Well, the night time, wouldn't it? Uh, they're going forward, though, they'll not want to give up easily. They're, going, oh, they're, they're still going, oh my god, his shot hits the bar. Jesus, god almighty. Celtic, you know, watch at the back, the back have been quite shaky. Ayer, Van de Beek, come on, another one would finish it off completely, it would be game over, we'll be through to the last 16, Maritz Bauer gives it to Van de Beek, I can't believe Maritz Bauer in this game is so good when in real life he's one of the worst players I've ever seen play for Celtic, Christopher Ayer gives it to McGregor, 
McGregor has it in the middle. Brown over the top for Bowers. A wonderful ball. Can he get it in? And it's wild hat tricks on the cards. He collects it. Bowers again. Griffiths. Somebody shoot ball and golly. Oh, he's hit the bar. Oh, my God, man. So many potential chances to shoot there. And then when we did, we hit the fucking bar. Van de Beek. Right, come on. One more go and then I can bring on David Turnbull to give him a bit of a run out in the Europa League. Oh, Jesus. God almighty. I just want to get this over and done with. I don't want the stress. I can feel my fucking heartbeat. I can feel my blood pressure rising through the roof. Don't know if that's just the fags or... Oh, Hudson Edwards through. Oh, he's fucking put it wide. How have you done that? He shot himself with a defender running in behind him. Celtic 3, Ferran Cavros 1. 15 minutes to go on the clock. We're going to bring on Davy Turnbull. McGregor, you've had a really decent shift, my son. You're going to come off, though. We're going to bring on Turnbull and see if he could do anything. Don't let this be the downfall of it. Oh, God, I've got to score, aren't I? Corner. Aye, right away. That's it. Van der Beek up the park. Up the... Oh, Van der Beek, what are you doing? What's he done there? Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. God almighty, it's 3-2. Van der Beek, we spent 40 million quid on you. And why does he not want to up the park? Did what was he thinking? Oh... Foster again making a marvellous save and it's, it's two rebound goals that they've scored. I don't know if I should just shut up shop now. We're going to go defensive. I can't risk this. I really can't. I'm thinking about bringing the full backs back as well and playing like five at the back. Ball and golly. Just go up. Oh, what's that? Touch, man. First touch, an absolute paedophile. Bower, get that. That's, that's what we call a first touch, but it's Bower. Sends it back to Brown. Ayer. Sends it out wide. Ball and golly. This time's through for Griffiths. Finish it. Come on, Lee, my son. No doubt there. That's it. 15 for the season for him. Ball and golly makes up for that touch with a fantastic assist. Celtic 4, Ferran Cavros 2. Oh, why were we ever in doubt? Eh? Why were we ever in doubt? Fantastic stuff from the big, beautiful striker that is Lee Griffiths. Four minutes of stoppage time. Probably is through to the end now. And that's it. Celtic will head through to the last... 16 of the Europa League after two, you know, goals we conceded that probably shouldn't have been uh, individual errors leading to them. Uh, we need to cut those out. But just like that, we are through along with Arsenal, Lazio, Dynamo Kiev, PSV, St Etienne, Getafe, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Malmo, CSK in Moscow, Man United, uh, Olympic Lyon, Red Bull Leipzig, Wolves, Shakhtar Donetsk, Benfica and Celtic. It sounds like the Champions League, doesn't it? Uh, we've not got a lot of hope. Hopefully we get another easy tie. But that's fine by me. We make it to the last 16. We one up to what happened in real life. And hopefully the draw will be today or so. So that we can end the episode on that. <laughs> Shen Hua make offer for odds on Edward of £16 million. Pounds. <laughs> Absolute joke there, isn't it? Uh, I think they also want higher. Shen Hua... Can you piss off, please, and stop trying to poach all my players? At least the players have no interest. Twelve and a half million. You can suck my balls. Um, Celtic, top of the league. Last 16 in the Europa League. The panic was all over. Nothing. Nothing at all. That's that's fine. We'll hopefully, in the next episode, we'll right all the wrongs. I just want to know where we get in the last 16 of the competition, but I don't know when the draw is. It's not telling me in the calendar. So I guess this is where we wrap up the episode. If you have enjoyed, then make sure to hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff. It is much appreciated, the FM save. I know it isn't for all, but for you people... You oh, wait, the draw's here. Here we go. View draw. Who are we going to get? Right. Okay, that's how we end the episode. We're going to end. We're going to say nothing. Subscribe and like and all that. We're going to end as soon as we get drawn out. Getafe will play CSKA Moscow. Man United will play Don't Be Silly. PSV Eindhoven. Okay. Dynamo Kiev will play, I wouldn't mind that, Malmo, it's two easy teams drawing each other there, Leon will play, Moussa Dembele will be returning to Celtic Park, ah, I'm a king, oh Leon, that's a tough, tough game, Gladbach, Wolves, Benfica, Lazio, Leipzig and St Etienne and Shakhtar and Arsenal, see you next time.